The iconic Kentucky Theater in downtown Lexington is one of many establishments forced to shut its doors by the pandemic. The future remains uncertain, but that might not be the case for long. As Victor Puente explains, there's a new push to reopen the beloved space. The Kentucky Theater has been closed since last fall after the management group running it ended their contract. Last month, the city of Lexington asked for proposals for someone new to manage it. One of the groups looking to step in is the nonprofit Friends of the Kentucky Theater. The group's co-chair says the theater is a cultural institution. Everything I know about film and cinema and the movies and in the wider world that you learn about through cinema and, and film, I got at the Kentucky Theater. Friends of the Kentucky formed in 2012. They've helped raise money for improvements at the venue and if they were given the contract, would run the theater as a nonprofit. They offered to operate it on a limited basis, but say they were told that couldn't work. You know, we might have it open a Saturday and a Friday night, but they're having to pay the heat and cool the place all week long. It, it just wasn't pragmatic. Wilkerson says other art house style theaters have had success with a membership model where people could pay a fee to get extra perks. He said they'd also look into adding a smaller theater, around 35 seats, so they could expand the films they show. And then with the third screen, you can shift it to the third screen. So we think it can double or triple the number of films we can show, which brings people back to the theater more often. The city has received another proposal to manage the theater. That one comes from the group Royal Doyle Productions. They're based out of Owingsville. In Lexington, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. The theater is owned by the city of Lexington. A spokesperson for the city says they expect to have a final decision regarding those proposals in three to four weeks.